The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. And we are live streaming right there. Am I looking so there? You can, you, you can look wherever. Hmm. Sack Fan 21 wants to know are we going to see the foggy gray for the home opener this year? <laughs> Uh, could the the players make that decision, and um, and we haven't gotten far enough along to figure that one out. But could yes, see the foggy gray for the first one. We could see. I understand what you do the blue and white. That's that's just me selfish. Blue and white. The blue and white. I like the anyway. <laughs> My favorite used to be the blue jersey on the gray pants. Really? Oh, those old silver. Yeah, those old silver ones. Yeah. All right, Rabs reporter wants to know: Your team came the closest to beating LR last season. What is the one thing you believe will be key to getting the Eagles to the top of the sack? Well, probably uh, being a little better blockers and tacklers than we were last year, and taking care of the ball better. We we had a two or three games where we had a turnover disease. And, uh, and it absolutely killed us. And, um, and of course, uh, we had a five-yard penalty against Lenore Ryan that kept the drive alive. That uh, that really, really hurt us. Uh, so, you know, just eliminate mistakes. You know, don't beat ourselves. The key to the key to football is don't beat yourself. That's the key. Um, football champion, we are. <laughs> Football champion says, we've all anticipated your switch to the spread offense this year. How has the transition gone? Well, uh, except for uh, two or three coaches having heart attacks, we're doing just fine. But, uh, <laughs> uh, but we, we got a good, we got a new quarterback coach, we got a new receiver coach, and the word is that they're going to put pressure on Coach Turner to throw it 50 times a game. <laughs> That's the word. <laughs> I'd have a heart attack if you lined up shotgun. We need I, to do, we lined up shotgun. I know you have. We need to do what it takes to win, what we need to do, whatever that is. You know, we don't have anything to do with offense, you know, what formation and how many times you throw it, how many times you run it. it has something to do with, with um, being able to execute what you do the best. And what the defense is giving you. I mean, you know. If they give you the run, take the run. If they give you the pass, take the pass. All right, SackFan21 wants a Ken Sparks autographed foggy gray jersey. Can we just give them the uh, the dirty white ones from the Tusculum game last year? <laughs> yeah, it's foggy or it's muddy. <laughs> Tell them we give them a dingy, a dingy white. Well, that suffice. All right, we've got one from the Rabs reporter, two-part question. Uh, who are the Eagles, what are the Eagles' biggest strengths, uh, and who's one player on offense and defense who you expect to have an impact this season? So well, I think let's start with biggest strength. Well, I think our best strength is is that we've got uh, uh, a real. Uh, hunger to be better people, to be better players. Um, I detect there's something special about this team and the fact that they uh, really have accepted the challenge of improving themselves. And uh, that's fun to coach. Um, as far as a player, uh, you know, to have four returning offensive linemen, that's got a lot of game experience. You can't ever beat that. and. Uh, and to have a three-year starter at quarterback, um, that's not a bad place to start, but fronting them with the quarterback on offense. Uh, defensively, uh, the uh, secondary looks like uh, uh, they're uh, experienced. Um, and uh, uh, so up front offensively and in the back defensively looks like this is where we've got the most experience kind of like. Would you agree with that? Mm -hmm. so. Special thanks to Brock Persley for running our Periscope cam today. 
Um, Lee wants to know any young guys that we should be watching this season. Well, I hope there's not going to be a bunch of young guys because if not, we ain't, we're not going to have any guys because we're expecting a whole lot of young guys to play. And uh, of course, you can't evaluate that yet because we haven't even, you know, we haven't even been in pads. But uh, we got some people that uh, sure have passed the the test in the uh, in summer workouts and volunteer summer workouts. So we're excited about some of the possibilities. Uh, East Tennessee reporter wants to know: after the loss of many defensive linemen, how's your depth along the front seven? Well, uh, I've been saying that we're going to be very young, but I've changed it to say we're going to be very exciting. Uh, because there's going to be some players there that I think uh, uh, are going to be really good football players before they leave here. Now, how soon will they be able to jump on that? I don't know uh, to make progress, but we really feel good about uh, about some of the possibilities. We really did really feel good about it. Give me some names. There. Okay, uh, a defensive tackle, of course. Uh, with uh, Hayden Hester and and uh, uh, Brian Bembry, Brian Bembry are two kids that, uh, and then what's the kid's name from Georgia that was a runner-up in the state wrestling? Uh, Brandon Ballard. Mm -hmm. Brandon Ballard. Those are three guys, and then we've moved uh, uh, Jordan uh, Jordan Price there. And uh, so that's some people that knew at that position that we we're excited about. And then at the defensive end, we got two or three, um, uh, Phelan, Booker, Phelan Booker and uh, uh, Cook Calhoun and, uh, and Jason. Jason Cook Calhoun. Yeah, and then what's the other one? Uh, We'll be right with you. We'll do the interview. Here. We'll be right with you. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, what's the other one saying? Put Calhoun and Put from uh, Atlanta. Harris. Demetrius. Demetrius. Demetrius Harris. Mm -hmm. And then we got a transfer in. Uh, by the name of uh, Pryor. No, no, no. Yeah, Pryor. What's Pryor's last first name? Oh, uh, how about Ross? Yeah, Ross Pryor. And, uh, so, we'll be in. Um, so anyway, we got a lot of new faces, as you can tell. You know, and, and we got a couple of guys, Justin Long and, and CT. Uh, CT Lavelle, yeah. yeah, that will be back and, and uh, counting on them. Uh, but besides that, we got a bunch of young guys. Um, Sack fan twenty. Exciting guys, yeah, not young guys. <laughs> <laughs> Sack fan twenty one wants to know who is your biggest rival, and would you say LR has become that team? Well, I say Lenore. Lenore Lions had more success against us than anybody in the last few years, and. Uh, and so, uh, but as far as anybody being our number one rival, you know, I, I think we're probably, uh, uh, every game is equal importance, and so are all important rivals to us, and I'm sure we are to them. So, uh, we don't have a number one rival as such. Um, East Tennessee reporter wants to know, would you expect any sleepers to stand out in odd places? Well, we think uh, uh, the kicker punter is probably going to be a sleeper because it's probably going to be somebody that hasn't uh, done it before, a possibility of that. Uh, we do have uh, 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 a boy from Green, a kicker last year. Ben Ogle, we got Ben back, uh, but we got a transfer in from Virginia Tech. Uh, that we're really excited about, and um, he uh, he's got a possibility of being a, a sleeper for us, no question.
And I think we're going to have two or three running backs that are going to be uh, really exciting players. Um, and those would be Antonio Wimbush. Uh, anybody, anybody else you want to name? Um, if I name one, I need that name the bunch. Because yeah. we got yeah, the bunch. Yeah. Okay. But we don't know until we get it. Yeah. Um, Montavious Taylor, Taylor Mark Wimbush. Um, who else has jumped out of this? Uh, Marcus Williams. Uh, yeah, Marcus. And Bush. Mm -hmm. Michael Bush. Michael Bush. All those guys got a chance to play. 